शुक्रान। वेलकम हाबी भी। यहाँ न्यूक्लियर वेपन्स के अलावा सारे वेपन्स बेचता हूँ। क्या चाहिए? ये कौन है? ये अबुदीन है। यहाँ हमारे अलावा किसी को गूगल भी नहीं ढूंढ सकता। क्या पहुँचा है भाई आपने वाह मजा आ गया। बस मेरा फोन वहीं आर्द में छोड़ गया। Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Kashmir News Bureau. Today we have with us Kashmir's prominent actor uh, who has achieved a great success. Uh, Me Sarwar has worked in Bajrangi Bajan, Kesri, and Jolly LLP2, and many other web series and popular television shows. We welcome Mr. Uh, Me Sarwar. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you for giving us your valuable time. You're most welcome. We are uh, much familiar with uh, the actor um, uh, Me Sarwar. We would like to know more about your personal life, your life before you were an actor. So please share some experiences. Yes, uh, thank you very much for having me on the show and Assalamu uh, Alaikum to our audience. Or, uh, as far as the life uh, before being an actor is concerned, well, I came from a very humble background. Uh, my father, late Haji Muhammad Safdar Mir Saab, who was known as Safdar Motors, Dr. Ali Jan of Cars. He is the most humble person I have come across in my life and uh, that he is, he is, he is still he's my inspiration, he has always been. And uh, after my schooling in, in, in Kashmir, actually I was inclined towards sports, martial arts to be specific about it. And uh, I have a medal, national medal in kickboxing, taekwondo, wushu, Muay Thai gold medalist. My initial aim, my initial target was to, you know, get some medals, get selected for internationals and uh, get a government job and get settled. But uh, in the process of uh, this sports field, you know, I, I was in Delhi for my education and uh, when I was in Delhi, I got exposed to the field of modeling and then I thought, like, let me give it a try for some time. I, will, I, I never thought I'll take it as a profession, but I, just, I felt good about it, you know. It's always good to be, you know, be in the limelight, see yourself on the, on, the, on the magazine or the front page of the paper, newspaper, or some music videos, ads, etc. So it was a good high, I know, when I was in my teen and early 20s. And uh, after my education, you know, I remember one particular ad which I did, and there were like many people from our society who came for a complaint to my father that like you know you are you, your son is doing is part of the media field he's he's into acting and all he shouldn't have done it because you come from the religious background and all so but he supported me that time also and my whole entire family supported me my initial target was to be a sportsman but later on it changed my horizon has you know that in that, that increase and i thought like this more much more beyond a specific job which I can actually do and explore and uh, that actually gave me a satisfaction that created a satisfaction I remember doing my first play uh, with Bapi Da, Mr. Bapi Bose, he's my guru, my teacher and Mr. Ram Keraina, he has, I've done many plays with him. Bapi Da, ke saat, the first play which I did was uh, Julius Caesar Ke Akhri Saad Din and uh, Luckily, I got an opportunity to work with him in many other plays and, and I was very, you know, quite active and I used to proactively be part of many things and he told me to be an assistant to him and I have assisted Mr. Raina, Mr. Amke Raina in National School of Drama workshops also very much, very first play of mine, very first workshop of mine, I was his assistant director and uh, in the third workshop, I did three workshops with him, I was one of the faculties which was an honor for me. Yeah. And uh, that's how it started, you know, I never thought like I'll take it as a profession, but, uh, but over the years I found that it's giving me that creative satisfaction and I gave up so many things. I sacrificed my government job, I sacrificed many other you know, benefits being in Kashmir, lifestyle, my lifestyle in Delhi was difficult, I had to earn on my own, I had to do my door-to-door -door marketing for survival in Delhi. But you know, everything comes at a cost, it's, it's not like, you know, Cup, you know, it's, it's, I, I wasn't born with a silver spoon, as they say. I had to work for it, and uh, I had to work quite hard. And it was a it was a long journey, and it, the journey is still going on. There's a lot to learn and a lot to achieve. But yes, it gives me satisfaction after the, uh, two decades that I am where I am today. So, uh, when did you first realize that you have an inclination towards acting and modeling? What was that moment? 
it was not a particular moment as they say i was say like you know it was not one moment that is low i decided to take it as a career it was the different highs which i kept on getting when i when, when, when any of my ad used to come in newspaper when any song used to release when any ramp show i used to do so there were like many moments and especially after theater that is when i realized that this is something which i would love to do but it was not allowed it was not taken as a as a you know it was not a career choice which i could have made and it's early 2000 i'm saying it was like you know that time many people my society used to go ask ask my family like aapka bachcha karta hai kya hai they used to say acting modeling so like okay kaam kya karta that was the question which is still the case like it is still not considered as a full fledged career option but many kids of today's generation want to be in this field and that's why people have started accepting it to some extent but still it's not a career career option and again at the same time everybody is no you know if for this particular field you have to dedicate your life entire life it's not only about a year or two or few years you will dedicate you learn techniques but there are things which comes naturally to you and you need to nourish these skills so that like you will be what a good actor or a you know actress should have so it's a learning process and uh, i'm still learning so many things around and it was gradually over the years many many achievements many things which i have which i was part of then i decided to take it as a career in your opinion in what way can acting as a career help society grow in a positive direction see if we talk about uh, initial years uh, initial decades of bollywood i would say it was like the, the the films which were made were reflection of the society whatever was happening around films were made in, not unlike today in fact there was one particular area you know when films were made just that was a complete different era when films were made uh, for a particular audience which is an elite class but before that if i go back like uh the black and white era that was actually a common man common man of the country or the subcontinent they were portrayed on the screen and they were used to come up with these values and of course it is always there in the stories also goods and bads uh, ultimately good wins over evil it has to be a happy ending that was a way of making films exceptions were there like devdas was different of course but those films have shaped up the mindset of so many generations i would say because it was the only source of entertainment and one particular film i've heard so many cases so many stories that one th- film has inspired one person to take a particular job a particular profession and yes it has the power to influence complete society in a particular direction and as far as the today's films are concerned they are very realistic people have started accepting uh, you know different kind of stories because there was a time and formula used to work it has to have drama romance action and it will be a hit but that is not the case now audience want something which is different because they are exposed to so many uh, platforms international media is available ott platforms netflix amazon and so many ott platforms are there web series are there english films are that because in, in, in initial years we we, knew we were not exposed to english or hollywood or even world cinema because person who watches world cinema which is very slow and light and people have a patience who actually is keen to learn about films and everything they should watch world cinema now audience has so much to choose from so that formula will not work doesn't work anymore and people do take inspiration from the real life or people take inspiration from the films in its vice versa it happens Yeah, indeed uh, media shapes our society media be it uh, movies be it newspapers be it, be it uh, entertainment stuff or any other content it shapes our society as a writer as a director as a filmmaker how do you see the role of media changing the society see as i uh, just mentioned yes it is our responsibility it's it's a responsibility of a maker to write something which is in one way or the other beneficial for that is your contribution towards the society as a maker you will make a film we are at times bound by the commercial aspect of the film so that like we cannot make films the way we want to because if i talk about myself i want to make something which is sensible but whatever sensible because the film which i was which i directed is a very serious sensible film but the point is most of the time we get a the feedback there is no masala nahi hai it's not a commercial commercial film 
at times you have to compromise with the quality at times you just have to because survival is very important if we are putting our own hard earned money we need to talk about the recovery of the same if we have some producer of sena finance is putting in money we need to talk about the recovery for the same it's not just you know we have some money and we'll just want to do, you know make a film let's not talk about the commercial see at this particular point we are not in a position to just spend lakhs of crores on some content without any returns yes we need to make films we need to write films which are beneficial to the society and uh, which will inspire which will inspire audience which will which will definitely people should love it we should connect to the same as a, that is my contribution that is the reason i remember the first film which we made was kashmir daily since i was the director of the film i was one of the producers and associate director we made it in two languages urdu or hindi whatever we call it hindustani and kashmiri we shot the same scene twice and every artist used to uh, you know translate the dialogue on its own and kashmiri was in is more natural because that's our first language and technically how the film is well known about the same but people have appreciated that effort because it was the first film which was made after about 6 decades and uh, that is something you know and which has inspired many people to make films and there are not many independent filmmakers which are actually making films because um, it's it's good like new uh, students and uh, people are actually thinking of making films for youtube or some festivals or songs or short films and people are going out for you know exploring their talent and making you know making some feature films also which is which is nice and yes we should in the long run strike a balance between commercial and art so that like everything that happens you know people should come ahead and spend money put money invest money in the same because if somebody is putting in in money in the same for the sake of contributing it that's one thing but ultimately at the end of the day survival is important so we should strike a balance being an actor you have uh, uh, played many characters so deeply did you find any uh, influence on your personal life of those characters you have played no my character is on set after the cut after pack up i am me mohammed sarwar meer meer sarwar i don't you know there's a particular preparation which every actor has to do but it should not be that prepared so that like if director wants to change certain things you will be you won't be able to do that that is injustice to what a craft's demands because you know your preparation should be the basic preparation you should know the lines you should know your character you should know the mood and if director wants to change certain things you should be capable enough flexible enough to do that if you are not able to do that that means that's a that's a problem that likes a problem and if i'm so deeply involved as method actors do uh because that time they used to get many many months or years to to play that certain character so it doesn't happen that I mean, it doesn't happen here as i must say if i talk about joker it took years for him and he clearly you know couldn't come out of the character he, in fact he passed away while being in the character it puts a lot of uh, you know effect on the on the mindset of the person also that is there but at the same time you are you what you are you. in fact i am a meer server playing abc character i am nawab in lehaf i am a bad guy in a bit different film i am a positive guy i am an emotional guy yeah. whatever person i am playing on screen is still cut between action and cut before action and after cut i am me and i have to be and yes of course every character will have certain amount of percentage of me whether it's 25% or 50% or yeah. even whatever my body language does change if it requires to change otherwise it will be me If you see many films of Shah Rukh Khan, he is Shah Rukh Khan in most of the films, except for few. So that is the case. Uh, you have uh, acted on many versatile roles, many versatile characters. Uh, but what makes you choose the terrorist or rebel uh, character most often? You don't get to choose. Yeah. If you are an outsider, you can't you can't choose that I will do that film and I will not do that film because see, being an outsider and from Srinagar, Kashmir. a person who has nothing to do with the film industry who has no godfather who has who is not born with a silver spoon i'm not a producer's family or a some star family so it's not like somebody is big banner is launching me and i will demand that i will only do certain type of characters in that case would have been a different story altogether but for me starting from scratch from nothing to get a simple entry in a bollywood film first of all initially if i if i if i remember my modeling days modeling was different there was no uh, characters per se as such because 
As per my looks, I used to get my, my, my assignments. As per my looks, I used to get uh, roles in theater also. Your looks matter, your personality does matter. My first play, Julius Caesar, Ke Akhri Saadin, I was playing a uh, Dacia Simba, was the, that is the uh, Julius Caesar ka Kirdar, which, which, which needed a person who is tall, who is built, who, is, who has a strong personality. And I was on the stage, center stage, speaking all the lines, lines one page, one and a half page complete. Uh, monologue which was which was the demand of the character now because of Hollywood certain type of roles did create it's post 9-11 I would say you know certain characters were introduced some ways the films were portrayed in such a manner some things which Bollywood also influ you know, influenced from Hollywood also such films became you know a, a norm and characters came up and I was offered some of the characters and at the same time, it was offered to so many other people also, and everybody tried their best to be to be part of the film, whether it's a positive in the character or a negative character or any character. For me, to do one particular scene or ten scenes or a big role or a small role for initial, I just wanted to enter into the film industry so that like I will be part of the film industry. And I'll make a mark of mine and at the same time because of the lot of hardships because of a lot of sacrifices Which I've done. I've left my government job. I've left business. I've left many private sectors jobs also to Get into the industry and if I am getting a particular role which will sustain me which I'll be able to survive in the city of Mumbai I have no choice other than doing that character and doing it giving it just to do whatever justice I can do I remember there was a particular film I was playing a, a simple same character which you just mentioned but I wrote some dialogues which were like you know which spoke about certain things which writer didn't write because I thought he as a character which I was doing I tried my best to be that person and I had some questions and I had asked the protagonist about those questions and well some of the questions were you know uh, censored uh, some of the questions were taken off but some of the questions were there which were generic human human questions and at the end at the same time see being whichever religion you belong to or community you belong to or culture you belong to in this particular field if after doing so much of alhamdulillah work and getting some recognition today i can choose to play a particular part and say no to some but there was a time when i could not so life is always uh, a struggle so what major struggles did you face during uh, your achievement of your successful career? There were many. There were many, as I say, like, you know, when I decided not to do a government job, it was a big decision for me. And uh, I knew that day itself, it will be a hard, it will be very difficult for me to survive in a city like this because after my education, my family, of course, they've supported me all throughout the life. But there was a particular point, the time, then they had, they, they, of course, when I'm studying, they'll send me money for the studies. But after my education, I have to survive on my own. It's, so it was my decision to stay there. There was a reason when I planned to shift back to Kashmir and there was some reason for business point of view and uh, there was some Set back in the business also, I decided to move, but due to a, one of the other reasons I could not move, I had to go back and again start from the scratch. And that's when I've started doing door-to-door -door marketing jobs to survive, take care of myself, take check my expenses, and go for my auditions, go for my theater rehearsals. And at the same time, going through these hardships, I had to, uh, had to earn. And from that salary of mine, I had to spend some money on theater because theater doesn't give you money. You have to spend money on it. I, you remember, whatever amount I used to earn as a salary, I used to spend half of money on theater. Yeah. Instead of getting money from theater, I used to spend money on theater. And, uh, and it, was, it was difficult. It was different. Uh, and I remember after, even after the release of Bajrangi Bhajan and Phantom in 2016, it was a very difficult phase of my life. I used to stay in it. Uh, there was a particular... Chawl, I would say, I used to stay there. I used to have one meal a day. That was a time also, because even after doing two films, when I thought like, Ab sab gaya, tension koi hai nahi. but it's always a journey. It's an uncertain field. You need to upgrade. You need to work on your skills, no matter how much work you have done. You need to have such skills. You need to promote yourself. You need to have, because if you can't hire a PR, you need to do a PR for yourself. Yeah. You, need to, you are a product. As an actor, I'm a product and I have to sell myself to to make us. So whatever I'm good at, if some people are thinking like, you know, I'm, I have done this particular part 
in a good manner, they repeat me. That's what we call stereotype or typecast. To some extent, it's fine. So that, like you're getting recognition, you're getting money to do a work. But because of that recognition, you can do something which you actually believe in. I, we as a makers, as a filmmakers from Kashmir, I want to make films which will talk about the surroundings, the stories of my society. Yeah. I want to talk about the stories of Kashmir to the world, which are human stories, nothing political. Human stories, there are so many things which I can talk about from Kashmir's perspective. Kashmir is always shown in a negative light. We can talk about some other aspects. I've recently I've talked about, spoken about this to so many people. Like I, I refused a couple of roles, I remember, in fact many. This is again the same thing. I refused. I said, like, this is this is something which I will not do. This completely goes against my ethics and against my rule. I will not do that. And yes, but that is something which was very difficult for me to do. But there are many characters which I have played, which were like normal routine Bollywood, which I have done. That's all. In your professional life and personal life, who are the people who have become your inspiration? My father is and was and will always be my inspiration. I've spoken about him, Haji Muhammad Safdar Mir, Safdar Motors. He has passed away last year. He has always been my inspiration. He, he was a self-made man and I've always followed his footsteps. And, uh, and he was a very down-to-earth, humble person. And everybody, whoever I've spoken to, whether it was uh, top-notch bureaucrats or politicians or business tycoons or anybody or any street vendor, Everybody used to use the word Saab with his name, Sabda Saab, Hai Saab, was because and as, as he, he had Sabdar Motors was a workshop and uh, he used to, you know, people used to call him Dr. Ali Jan of cars. People like, you know, who are the previous generation, they know Dr. Ali Jan and they know Sabda Saabs. People of new generations don't know about them. But here we are, uh, we have to, uh, you know, Work in such a manner so that their name is also made and our name is also made. Our name is still alive. Until the day I am around, I will make sure that my father's name alive remains of the motors. Because my brand, my banner is of his name only. Of the arts is the banner of my banner, which I have dedicated to my father. And two films so far, one has released Kashmir Daily. Is I'm one of the producers of Seven Two Creation is one producer Hussain Khan, and I am the other producer Seven Two uh, of the motors of the arts. And the another film which I have directed, which is uh, Bed Number 17, is that is one of the banners which are involved, along with Rath Kazmi Films, Seven Degrations, Asad Motion Pictures, and there are many more banners associated with the same. So uh, that's what we, I am trying to, you know, uh, as far as that is my that's my that's my desire, that's my dream to uh, work for Kashmir film industry also. So that like because we can tell our stories to the world through our banners, through our production houses. You have played many character uh, roles in movies. Uh, which one of uh, them is your favorite and why? As I again, I said, just mentioned uh, that you can, if you, if you ask any parent that which child of yours is your favorite, he will never be able to answer the same question. That's again the same case with me. Every role was important for me in one way or the other. Mm. Every role has given me little bit of whatever satisfaction I needed, boost I needed, financial support I needed. In that case, every role is important. But Bajrangi Bajan as being the first film which has released becomes a little special and that gave, gave me an identity among the masses. Kesri gives me, gave me recognition inside the film industry, the film fraternity, and uh, which was the main antagonist, Dharma Proshan's film. I was uh, playing the main lead against Akshay Kumar, so that was another role which gave me a little bit of recognition inside the industry also, that is again uh, important for me, closer to me, closer to my heart and every other role which I was part of is important, especially the next film which is releasing on 31st of July on Wood Select Lihaf, yeah. I'm playing the uh, Nawab in the film, that's one of the lead characters in the film and one more film which is releasing on 12th of August on Amazon Prime, Shersha. I'm playing the antagonist in the film. That is, in fact, as I again said, every film has been uh, very important for me as, a, as an actor, as a person, and for my growth, every film counts. And uh, yes, that is what it is. And uh, all the roles are my favorite. And especially for the, there are some things which I'm writing right now, because there's something, there's a series, web series, which I've written and directed, Van Bas, which is not complete yet. And there are some scripts which I'm working on right now, because as, I'm not a writer, but 
Uh, it takes time when I uh, when I you conveying your idea to some people around it. They take time to pen it down and give it a shape the way you want it. In fact, there are Mumbai. There are some writers who gave it a masala wala picture. So in our case, if I'm making a story around Kashmir, I cannot tell a non-Kashmiri to write it. Yeah. And uh, it has to be Kashmiri. And we have some wonderful writers here. I've spoken to many, and uh, hopefully I will meet some for some scripts when it's the final stage. But initially, I'm writing it on my own. The first draft, I'll write on my own, inshallah. Inshallah. Uh, so you inspire many artists across the valley. How do you see future of modeling and uh, acting in the valley in particular? There is a lot of scope in modeling, theater, acting and acting. There are like many various new theater is there, TV, radio, films. It's a vast field. And uh, because of the genes, people from Kashmir are like, you know, they're blessed with good looks and uh, at times that gives us a little edge over others but and we are a little overconfident but that is wrong it's always good to be you know stick, strike a balance you don't need to be underconfident or overconfident if you have an edge over others work on the skills which are required to become an actor or a model because your body language is important your diction is important your language is important your voice is important your looks your fitness it's not necessarily like you'll have a huge physique or you are good with martial arts and all. These are added advantages you can have over others. But the main thing which you need to work on is your skills. Skills with, of course, you know, there are certain things which you are blessed with. There are certain things which are naturally, which naturally come to you and your genes are there. There are certain things, you know, if, you, if your parents are an artist, is an artist or anybody in your family, that comes, that happened in my case also, my maternal side, my, my maternal grandfather, he was a poet, so I have some artistic genes from his side. Again, we need to work on our skills and we need to work on our skills, with, you know, when we are in our own city. So that like when we go to some bigger city or Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore or whichever place you want to go, we don't waste our time there. We don't spend unnecessarily money there. We don't get demotivated and demoralized. We will face rejections. You will always face rejections in one way or the other. But that should not demotivate us. That should not be that. That should not put an ill effect on our mental health because mental health is very important. And if you have that thing with you that you lack something, then you won't be able to nourish your skills. You won't be able to, you know, uh, do something else also because somewhere down the line you'll think like ah, I was not good at that particular thing. But mm -hmm. if you're working on your skills, maybe you can nourish, you can, you, can, you can come back, you can bounce back. I have seen many hardships in my life. There were so many regrets I've done. I was, well, you know, many regrets like many shared job karne chahiye thi. I should not have done it that way. I should have done this. But every time when I fell, I stood up, I said, let me try again. Let me try again. Again, the same P, three P's formula, which I always repeat. Your passion has to be there. Pagal pan ki hat tak. Patience has to be there. It will come with time. It doesn't happen in a day. And persistence, lagero. That is very important. Work on your voice. You have a mobile phone. Record your voice. Deliver the same line in a different manner. And uh, mobile is there. Shoot a video of yours use whoever there are people you know you can go for you know, shoot these auditions upload them on youtube ask for the feedback from the people around you be ready to learn be ready to get criticized and if somebody is criticizing you not for the sake of criticizing you but if it is healthy then yeah then learn from it and if people are just praising you this is fine good to feel that you know if somebody is praising your work but there, are, there is always room for improvement, that should be the case. And there is a half glass full and half glass empty. That empty glass should always be like that. You should never feel like Mujah Sab Aata Hai. The day you think like that, that means you're gone. So that's what I would suggest, I would tell others. You're blessed with good looks, make good use of it, learn the craft and give it a try. So at the end, what are your aspirations for youth of Kashmir in a nutshell? Kashmir, the youth of Kashmir is extremely talented. And I have seen people from Kashmir, boys and girls, excellent whatever field they have, they are part of. You know, first thing first, they should anybody should do what they feel they're good at. It's not like because it has happened with us also. Our careers were chosen by our relatives, our societies, our families. Whether he was or she was good at it or not, 
it was chosen by some people else somebody else if you are good at a particular thing choose it as a career and you will definitely do good because it is in as again i said like it is in genes that the good looks which kashmiris have they are smart and they have a lot of that energy and it all depends like you know where they are going to channelize that energy if you channelize that energy in something productive you will excel you will do wonders and it's all up to you and your your, your the people around you and uh, friends you have so i would again this is my this is my suggestion to everybody so they like you know channelize that energy in the right manner whatever you think is right channelize it there whether it's sports whether it's media whether it's films whether it's medicine engineering politics whatever you good at put your energy in the same you will definitely do wonders that's for sure so we thank you uh, very much for uh, having patience with us thank you very much for having me in your show thank you very much thanks a lot sir